Part F Quantitative Estimation Preparation of Standard Solution of Oxalic Acid Our aim here is to prepare standard solution 0 0.05 molar of oxalic acid. Theory Molecular weight of oxalic acid is 126. Hence, to prepare 1 molar solution of oxalic acid, 126 grams of it is dissolved in 1000 ml of water. Thus, 1000 ml of 1 molar oxalic acid is equivalent to 126 grams of oxalic acid. Therefore, 100 ml of 0 0.05 molar oxalic acid is equivalent to 0 0.63 grams of oxalic acid. To perform this experiment, the apparatus required are a 250 ml beaker, a 100 ml volumetric flask, a watch glass, a glass rod and chemical balance. The chemicals required are oxalic acid and distilled water. Let us perform the experiment. Place a watch glass on a chemical balance. Tear the weight of the watch glass. Now, weigh exactly 0 0.63 grams of oxalic acid on the watch glass. Transfer the weighed oxalic acid to a clean beaker. Wash the watch glass with approximately 10 ml of water and transfer the washings to the beaker containing oxalic acid. Give about 2 washings to the watch glass. Stir the solution in the beaker with a glass rod to dissolve it completely. Transfer this solution from the beaker to a clean 100 ml volumetric flask. Add distilled water carefully till the 100 ml mark. Shake well. The solution thus prepared is 0 0.05 molar oxalic acid. Precautions to be taken. Use pure oxalic acid and weigh it accurately. Add distilled water carefully. Part F. Quantitative Estimation Determination of Strength of Sodium Hydroxide by Using Standard Solution of Oxalic Acid Our aim here is to determine the molarity and strength in grams per litre of the given sodium hydroxide solution. Given to us is a 0 0.05 molar solution of oxalic acid. We are given two flasks labelled A and B. Flask A contains 0 0.05 molar oxalic acid. Flask B contains sodium hydroxide solution. Theory Oxalic acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to form salt and water. This reaction is called neutralization by titrating known volume of standard oxalic acid solution with sodium hydroxide, molarity of sodium hydroxide can be calculated using the relation M1V1 upon N1 is equal to M2V2 upon N2. Strength in grams per liter is equal to molarity into molecular weight. To perform this experiment, the apparatus required are a burette a burette stand, 100 ml conical flask, a funnel, pipet and a white glazed tile. The chemical required is phenolphthalein indicator. Let us perform the experiment. Wash all the apparatus clean with water. Rinse the burette 
with a given sodium hydroxide solution. Using a funnel, fill the burette with sodium hydroxide solution. Remove air bubbles from the burette and adjust the lower meniscus of the solution to the zero mark. Keep a white porcelain tile below the burette. Rinse the pipet with the given standard oxalic acid. Pipet out 10 ml of the oxalic acid into a clean conical flask. Add 1 to 2 drops of phenolphthalein indicator to it. Prepare the observation table as shown. Let us take the pilot reading. Add 1 cm cube of the burette solution at a time. Swirl the flask continuously. Record the reading at which the color of solution in the flask changes to light pink. We can see that there is no color change till we added 7 cm cube of the burette solution. After adding one more centimeter cube of the burette solution, the color of the flask has changed to pale pink. Therefore, the pilot reading is between 7 centimeter cube and 8 centimeter cube. Now, let us find out the final burette reading. Refill the burette till zero mark so that our initial reading is zero centimeter cube. Pip it out 10 ml of the given oxalic acid solution and add 1 to 2 drops of phenolphthalein indicator. Add 7 cm cube of the burette solution directly into the conical flask with continuous shaking of the flask. Now, add the burette solution drop-wise till the color of the solution in the flask changes to light pink. Read the burette. It reads 7.6 cm cube. This is called the final reading. Note it down in your observation table. Repeat the titration at least twice to obtain a constant burette reading. Note down the readings in your observation table. The constant burette reading obtained is 7.7 cm cube. Calculations The balanced chemical equation is given as 2 moles of sodium hydroxide reacts with 1 mole of oxalic acid to give 1 mole of sodium oxalate and 2 moles of water. Molarity of sodium hydroxide is determined by using the following equation. M1V1 upon N1 is equal to M2V2 upon N2, where M1 is equal to molarity of oxalic acid, which is equal to 0 0.05 molar. V1 is equal to volume of oxalic acid, which is equal to 10 ml. N1 is equal to number of moles of oxalic acid, which is equal to 1. M2 is equal to molarity of sodium hydroxide, which is to be determined. V2 is equal to volume of sodium hydroxide, which is a constant burette reading, which is equal to 7.7 cm cube. N2 is equal to number of moles of sodium hydroxide, which is equal to 2. On substituting these values, we get 0 0.05 multiplied by 10 upon 1 is equal to M2 multiplied by 7.7 .7 upon 2. Therefore, M2 is equal to 0 0.05 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 2 upon 7.7. .7. Therefore, M2 is equal to 1 upon 7.7. .7. Therefore, M2 is equal to 0 0.12 molar. 
molarity of sodium hydroxide is 0.12 molar. Strength of sodium hydroxide in grams per liter is equal to molarity into molecular weight. This is equal to 0.12 multiplied by 40, which is equal to 4.8 gram per liter. Result The molarity of sodium hydroxide is 0.12 molar and 4.8 grams per liter.